Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. Welcome to Elias Tech channel. If you're new here, welcome. And I'm so happy to see you all once again. Guys, as, as some of you or most of you know that I am a network engineer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure this, uh, I can say wireless controller, or we can say Dream Machine Pro uh, in the very professional ways. I've seen some instructor, they have shared their opinion as well, but I just want to dive in and I try to see if I can get a chance to go under the skin of this uh, specific uh, controller. Uh, the default IP address of this controller, or we can say uh, Dream and Machine Pro is 192.168.1.1. But once you uh, start using this, uh, I can say uh, the success point, what's going to happen is that it automatically pop up and it comes to this specific line. So this is by default. I mean, you don't have to do anything, but you can, if, you, if you want to type 192.168.1.1, you can get the same result. Let's click Setup. So the first thing is the, cons the console name. Let's say the console name is UDM Pro. I will keep it UDM Pro. You have to accept the what? You have to accept the agreement. All right, click Next. In here, you have to type email and password. If you have user inside the unify.com, type your email and password, you're good to go. If you doesn't have, you can create. If you don't want neither of this, we can skip. I said I didn't, I didn't need anything. So let's say we can say proceed without any login. So in here, what we're gonna do is that we have to type the password. All right, which password we need to type our own password. So this is new password, guys. Remember that this is new password. All right, I will definitely not save this one. And in here, it asked me to, do you want a daily update? I said, uh, daily update, I would say weekly update instead of daily because every day it's going to take an update so I don't want any drop in my network. So I would say every Sunday, since no one is at the office, I would say 12 a.m. That's a good time. Click next. So in here, send a diagnose performance information in case if you want to uh, if you need this one to get some notification for diagnosis, any issue, it will send you uh, to the technician of this specific company. I would say, forget it, I will take care of the rest. Click next. So in here, it, it tests the uh, download and upload of the internet. So far, um, this device is not connected to the internet. Uh, I. It is connected to the internet, but we haven't configured yet. Either you can see the result of upload and download. This is a free performance. It shows the speed of the internet that you have. I will just skip this one. Thank you. So here's the important portion. Uh, I would say I have a 300 to 100. So what I mean is I say that I have a 300 MB download and I have a 100 MB upload. The speed of the internet that I have. Click next. This was the last step for configuring this, the initial configuration. All right, guys, if you look at in here, everything is sounds good and there is no issue. All right. So what we're going to do is we need to come to the network. It's very important. You have to come to the network. Let's see what we have in the network. All right. If you look at in here, it says that the internet is Verizon. So it is connected to the internet. I have internet. I have no issue with internet. So that's a beautiful thing. Everything is connected properly without any issues. Let's click on the main one. Remember that, that there is a two types of uh, setting. If you come to the main page, this is the main page. If you come to the setting, 
you will find that there is a update. I think that this unify or we can say this unify OS, OS operating system is up to date. I don't have to do anything. This one is also up to date. The network is up to date. The protect is also up to date. I don't have any wireless controller. I don't have any voice over IP or camera or UID. I don't have these things. So I do have a network protection. I, I do have a wireless access point. Once you come to the setting, what's going to happen is here is the place where you can configure uh, this, uh, uh, we can say, uh, dream machine. Here, if you want to remote access this dream machine, so this is a time zone. Um, I did the location. If I click in here, it automatically uh, pick up with the help of global position system. It automatically find out where is my location. Restart, here's the place where I can restart. Turn off the console, I can turn off the console. Reset factory default, here's the place you can reset factory default. If you come to update, you can say we discuss about this one, all of them is up to date. If it is not, it prompt you. Like for example, these two are, uh, there's updates required. So if I need it, I will update it. If I don't need it, I don't have to. Because I don't have neither of these devices, so I don't want to take an update. If I click here, it automatically update. It does not ask me to do down, go download file and so on. Remember that for the notification, everything is okay. And uh, if you if you want to customize, you would say if if updates available, push it and send me an email. Unify uh, application update, send me an email. So console backup or user management uh, action, send me an email. This is the notification. So you will receive an email in case if anything happened with the controller. Here is the storage. I have about 8 TB. If you look at in here, I bought it external. I bought it uh, separately. So I connect it in here. It's fine to play. Uh, and it is 8 TB. So it, it shows it's used, unused. So if it is green, it's used. And if it is gray, it's unused. So, so far, I haven't used this hard drive. About this console, this is all about this specific console. So the admin, the owner of the gateway is this one. This is the one IP address, and this is a version that I'm using, the OS version. So if any OS version is update, uh, updates available, you don't have to touch anything. It automatically comes right here. If you look at an access, if OS updates available, it comes in here, like update. So you have to go and do the updates. So we cover this one. We discuss about the notification. Uh, uh, in here, we, we don't want to do anything. These two updates are available. In case if we click, it automatically update. But I don't want to update because I'm not using these features. Uh, if you click install now, it automatically install. Here's the place where you can uh, create a user, where you can add a user as well. So far, I have one user, which is admin, and the owner of this admin is administrator. If I click add a user, so uh, I can see administrator. Then let's say John, John, uh, forget the last name, local access only, John, and the password should be A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then uh, employee ID, I can say 1, 2, 2. And the date is, uh, let's say, um, this guy joined from December 1st. Last name is, let's say, admin. So John admin. Last name is admin. All right. If you look at in here, we have another user by the name of John admin. And that's the rule as administrator. If I click and uh, go to setting. Uh, uh, if I change the rule to viewer to member, I can do that as well. So here is the main console. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to come to network. Come to network. Uh, guys, allow me to connect my wireless access point in here as well. Let's come to the access point. Guys, look at here. We need to collect add. Right now, I have a two devices getting ready. So the IP address is 182.168.0.232. That is wired. So what happened is my access point is ready to go. 
here is my access point so you don't have to do anything in here if you really serious to uh, it's getting ready i mean it's not really 100 percent but you need to come to setting in case if you want to make any changes here's a place where you can uh, bond the setting for example you can say prefer uh, five gigahertz balance if you want i will off because if you off it it, it pick both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz you want a lady light if you doesn't then that's fine <laughs> uh, okay let's come to very important configuration come to setting there is a wi-fi network internet let's create the network i want to create two network this is wks office i mean this is belong to my office and it's, it said that automatically a scale network i said no you don't have to automatic scale network uh, for my office i will use 172.1 uh yeah 172.17 uh 172.17.16.0 so this is what i prefer i mean this range is okay i will keep it as uh let's say uh one yeah add this network and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another network we can say uh guest wi-fi so guest wi-fi if i click in here what's gonna happen is i would say the my guest network should be 10.0.0.1 so that's gonna be my guest network at i click on default and i would say mgmt uh, i will keep this uh, network as a management i mean this is my uh, management uh, network so come to wi-fi let's say wks uh, office password is and i would say this one I want to create another SSID, uh, which is yeah. Let's say uh, guest uh, uh, guest net. I mean guest network. Let's type the password, and I will collect connect this one to the guest Wi-Fi. Okay, guys. As you notice here, uh, we configure uh, two uh, network, and meanwhile. Uh, if you look at in here, I have a, a guest network, I have a workstation network, and I have a management network. I need you guys' attention here. If I click on workstation office network, you can see here this is a VLAN 2. Remember that this is VLAN 2. If I go back to see the guest network, there is a VLAN 3. Remember that that's why you're not able to access both of these access points. That's why you're not able. You may able to access only the, if you don't have, I mean, you may not able to neither of this access point because uh, you are using the regular network switch, unmanageable switch. If you're using unmanageable switch, remember that these things doesn't work. This doesn't work. You need to have a manageable switch. You need to have a manageable switch. Option number one. Option number two is when you come to here, so these ports whatever ports is in here it should be trunk remember that you have to tag these all ports the question is how we can tag this port you need to come to the network come to network once you get here you need to come to setting when you get here you come to profile remember that you have to come to profile once you come to the profile create new profile click on create new profile once you create a new profile this is what you're supposed to do all trunk say all trunk and then pick pv power over the net the native vlan keep your uh, management uh, vlan for your native vlan but what i have done in here i say tag these two networks guest wi-fi and wks office if i have a vice vlan i will pick in here if i don't have i will leave it remember that 
this is how you can configure in order to access multi vlan multi network here is the thing so there is no issue with the dcp there is no issue with the with the dream machine pro the only problem that you may encounter is that you need to have a manageable switch so here's in my scenario and my scenario i have a fs switch as i mentioned it is s3410 i will definitely put the link uh, down comment below so you can go ahead and watch that that types of switch as well which is very helpful very helpful another thing you should keep in your mind that if you have a one gigs of the internet so this is all terrible shit all the nsr fine if you have one gigs of internet and you're using the fast ethernet network switch do not expect that you're receiving the high speed of internet you need to have a gig uh gigabit network switch that is why i'm using fs or s3410 a series of the fs company switch these are the gigabit uh, ethernet and meanwhile these are power over ethernet remember that you need to have a power over ethernet switch first and meanwhile that switch should come with a giga ethernet and then that uh, switch should able to uh, manage i've seen some power over ethernet switch is unmanageable you don't need that switch my friend you didn't need that if you go with these scenarios if you have for like four five six uh, ssid with the four five six uh, network you probably need to have a manageable switch that's number one once you log into the manageable switch once you log into the manageable switch you need to if you for example you connect the fiber connection of the your dream machine or if you're using copper remember that i need your attention because i don't have any uh, real scenario in here so just give me one second let me log into network switch let me log into network switch because let's do reality check let's do reality check uh, all right it was 1.100 guys remember that here i need your attention this is my uh, s3410 network switch okay look at here interface number two is connect to my wireless controller the which one the wireless control this i'm not able to access this one but the wireless controller of this one this one is connected to this one remember that look, look at here it is 1000 mb PS and uh, gigabit uh, interface uh, 10 is my computer and 20 is uh, let me see port number 20 is connect to my what connect to my uh, dream machine come to the VLAN this is the scenario this is how we resolve I create one VLAN number two and VLAN number three. Number three is for GIS, number two is for WKS, for workstation. This is what you're supposed to do. Number two of this switch, port number two of this switch is connect to access point. And port number 20 is connect to, remember that, port number 20 is connect to the dream machine. This one is dream machine and this is wireless access point which is belong to dream machine both of them are trying thank you both of them are what both of them are trying this is how you can troubleshoot this is how you can fix this is how you can access multi network or multi ssid okay villain remember that i have villain one villain two villain three i create these two and these are trying and neither of these ports are member of these vlans only port number two 20 21 22 23 24 is trunk port these are the trunk port that's it this is how i configure my network switch okay let's uh back to uh, our uh regular scenario okay let's check the internet see if i'm able to access the internet so far i'm able to access the internet using y remember that this is the internet comes from dream machine the internet comes from dream machine of course i'm not able to this access the switch again <coughs> because the network is different all right let me grab my phone let me grab my phone and see if i'm able to access the dream machine 
So I have uh, guest Wi-Fi. And what is the password of guest Wi-Fi? Sorry, guest Wi-Fi. Uh, click in here. So it is ABC123. All right, let's click Wi-Fi. Um, I think I have test this one. Let, let me forget this network and connect once again. Forget this network and connect once again because we just want to make sure that everything is okay. All right, so I have here by the name of GuestNet and I have another one, WKS Office. Click on WKS Office. Uh, WKS Office is also uh, uh, this is the password. Let's see if it's if it works. All right. If you see the checkpoint, means I'm able to access the internet. Remember that one seven two one seven one six. So this is the network I receive. WKS one seven two one seven one six. Or we can say 172.17.16.0. Whatever it is. So if if you look at in here, I am able to access the internet. Let's say uh, this is my uh, whatever. So I'm I'm able to access the internet. And you will say, well, I'm able to access the one access point. This is okay. So let's connect to the guest. Let's connect to the guest. Okay, it's ABC at one two three four let's connect to the network uh, the, to the guest we just connect to the guest guys if you look at in here i am able to access the guest network it is 10.0.0.186 so the guest is 10.0.0.0.0 look at the dream machine pro and let's see if i'm able to access the internet there you go i'm able to access the internet which is so so beautiful this is how you can resolve and fix the issue i hope the information was very helpful if you if you think it was very helpful guys what are you waiting for go ahead and uh, share this information with your friend with your family with whoever you think they're uh, following such a valuable information guys don't forget to subscribe until next time stay safe be brave god bless you guys